Hi, it's Tuesday, January 8th, 2013. Satan brings strife. Mm -hmm. I bring peace. Remove your pride from our relationship now. There is no room for your pride in our relationship. I don't need you or your help and will use you only if you are willing. Willing messengers are a dime a dozen. Do you think there is something special about you that only you can receive my words? No. Remove your pride. Remove yourself, or I will remove my messages. This is not easy, but it is not... I'm sorry. This is not easy, but it is what you must do. Nobody cares about your opinion. Deliver my words. None of your commentary. My bride is hungry for direction. They wait with anticipation because they are the children who recognize the signs in the world around them. My messengers encourage them that soon their redemption draweth nigh. Do you want to believe man? Open your Bible. Like my messengers are telling you to. This is what is key now. A filling of my bride with the Ruach HaKodesh. An emptying, of, emptying her of this world. Straining the filth from the water. Making it clean enough to drink. A refining process that takes time and effort on the part of my bride. Step away from the cares of this world. Step away from the evil. Step away from the sin. Do not look upon any sin with justification. All evil should make your hair stand on end. Do not listen to man's words unless they are backed up by my word. Grace is what is to be shared now. The time is late, and if grace is not stressed... In all teachings, many will be lost. Some so wrapped up in their sin, the only message that they will hear and respond to is the grace message. Woe to those who add to the message of grace. It is a pure and simple message that even a small child can understand. Many man-made churches will fall now. If they are not teaching what they should be teaching, they will fall. More and more hearts are turning to the Father now. Salvation is a gift that many are choosing to receive. The salvation of others should be a common goal of all of my children. Woe to those who pride, whose pride keeps them from sharing grace. Adding man's doctrines to my grace message leads many astray. Examine your every action and word now, my children. You are being watched closely by those who want to find a reason to tear you apart. More than ever, you must be prepared to stand in me and in my truth. If you are never in my word and you do not know my ways, you won't have a chance. You must put on my armor daily. This is what is needed because now this is a battle like it has never been before. If you lead men astray by asserting your own opinions, this will be blood on your hands. Remove your pride. What is more important to you, your self-proclaimed man-made traditions or sharing my gospel of grace. Do not add to my simple message of salvation, your man-made plans. You cannot add something, you cannot add to something that is perfect and complete. Satan's goal is for you to make my grace message into a message of good works. Grace is dependent on the heart of a man, not their works. No one can come to the Father if not through the Son. The Son is grace. This is truth. You cannot add to the truth or it becomes a lie. You are not to be the judge of others. Lift them in prayer. Call out to the lost with the message of grace. Remove yourself and let the Holy Spirit work through you. As my bride filled, as my bride is filled to the full with the Holy Spirit, her time grows near. Have your lamps full, my bride, for it is evening now and the sun has set on a moonless night your lamp is your only guide glorify me by keeping oil at hand at all times glorify me by spreading my grace message your redemption draweth nigh